The way this works is sort of like a broken camera. Your digital camera that might be on your cell phone, it has an infrared light filter. That filter is removed in this optic or any other digital night vision optic. What we have instead is an infrared light illuminator. You can see here on this Triton Star Strike. A lot of times you'll also see lights that aren't built into the optic on the side, sort of like a big, big flashlight hanging off the edge. What this does is it shines infrared non-visible light into the scenery into the night and when you look through your optic the optic's going to be equipped with a sensor that's specifically dedicated to looking for that frequency of infrared light a couple important things to look for in a digital night vision scope and a couple parameters that are really going to be the driving force for how good actually is your optic number one is the infrared illuminator the infrared illuminator when it shines out a light depending on how powerful it is it's going to depend directly on how well you can see and how far you can see, which therefore dictates your range. If you have an illuminator that can only shine 50 to 75 yards, that's how far you'll be able to shoot. If you have an illuminator that can shine closer to two or 300 yards, then that's how far you'll be able to shoot. It all ties back to how far can you see in the night. Another key thing you want to keep in mind when you're shopping for a digital night vision scope is how far is what you're going to be shooting away from you. That's because Digital night vision scopes operate the best at their base magnification. This star strike here in front of us has a base magnification of five. That's gonna give us a much better picture quality further out than say a night vision optic with a base magnification of one. If what you're shooting is really close to you, you might wanna opt for something with a lower base magnification. If what you're shooting is farther away from you, you might wanna opt for something with a higher base magnification. Regardless, your best picture quality is going to come at that base magnification level. It's similar to taking a picture with your phone and using the, the zoom in feature. As you zoom in more, the picture quality tends to deteriorate. 